peace. Welcome to today's vlog. What up? What up? What up? Don't look. Don't look. I'm not, I'm not finished. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now you can look. They're, they're nice and clean now. They weren't that bad to begin with, but they were getting to that wornness to where, like, it's, like, starting to become flat instead of, like, grippy. Yeah. So, now it's got those nice divots. Nice. Good for the grill. All right, Jesse, cut the music. I have two stacks of games here. This stack does not need to be resurfaced, and this stack does need to be resurfaced. Now, you guys tell me which stack sounds better. We'll start with the one that doesn't need to be resurfaced. Now the stack that does need to be resurfaced. Let me know in the comments. So, there's a trade-in happening right now, and I wanted to show you guys something a bit uncommon that I haven't seen in person before, but it is Super Mario Bros. 3, and if you look closely, this is the left-aligned Super Mario Bros. 3, which they call Left Bros, apparently, and it's just an early print run of the game, so normally it's, like, over here. So, just thought I'd show you guys a little something. Pretty cool. Yeah. I feel like we, we have probably had them before, but... We never. We either just it. didn't care, didn't check, or it's just been a long time. I, I don't really remember. Yeah. But they are worth a bit more. Yeah. Um, Kyle's gonna price it, so I'm not sure exactly. Price what it is. It's the same, but I have to look on eBay to see if it actually does sell for more. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people don't know or don't notice. Most people probably don't care too, yeah. but you know, for the few people that do, they'd probably be willing to pay a little bit more. Yeah. So. We'll double check and everything, but it's just kind of cool. Yeah. No worky? Um, not yet. That's why I'm cleaning it. With That's our right. signature one-up card. Please buy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they actually work really good. So, I have some at home, and they work cleaning cartridges so now we're gonna see if this game genie works before it was flashing which is normal and oh no it's still flashing hit the reset button huh? okay you keep testing Okay. Check out my Pikmin 4 shirt. I wonder who would like to go first. Would you like to go first? Yes. Okay. Hang on. Pick a bean. Let me see. Just making sure I can eat that. We go. I didn't look at the flavors. I was just okay. The ingredients. Mm -hmm. So this is the one where like two flavors look the same. Yep. Oh god. So you pick one, and I'll tell you the options. How? Don't they look appetizing? No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for a safe option here. I'll go for this clearish blue. Okay, so that is probably the safest option. Yeah. That's either berry or toothpaste. Oh, okay. Yeah, not fun. Oh, they're stale. Are oh, they? They're all hard. <laughs> it's toothpaste. Yay, hard toothpaste. Oh. You're my, lucky. My mouth feels minty and fresh. Yes. So it's you. Yes. Pick a flavor. Alright. Just so you know, I hate jelly beans, but I'm just gonna play this game for you guys. Colton did say that they're a little hard. They've been... They've been here for a while. We just haven't opened them till now. All right. You pick the one, and I'll tell you what your two options are. This one. That's like the yellowy looking one. Like so buttered popcorn. That's either buttered popcorn or pea or rotten egg. <laughs> rotten egg. 
<laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> uh, good luck to me, I guess. Rotten egg. Rotten egg. Butter popcorn. You are so <laughs> lucky. It's delicious. Want to go for a second one? <laughs> I could if you really want me to. It's, it's like that claw machine where you play till you win, but it's the opposite. I'll play till I lose. Yeah. Mm, all right. I'll go for this one. That is either strawberry banana smoothie or <laughs> or dead fish. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's so much worse than rotten egg. Is it? All right. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's a garbage can, just in case. I will spit it out. I'm not going to swallow it if it's dead fish. Just so you know. You might like it. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh. Oh. Whew. Oh. It's so gross. Oh, we gotta rinse it out. Oh, that's so gross. Okay, Ryan. Kyle lost. I'm scared. Pick a flavor and then I'll tell you what the two options are. Uh, this one. It okay, like... that's one with the multicolored. Wait, let me see it again. I'm scared. So that Kyle. is either. Gross. That one's not as bad. That one's either birthday cake or dirty dishwater. Kyle got rotten fish, or dead fish. <laughs> that was nasty. Well, it's definitely not birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? No. <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like dirty dishwater? <laughs> do, you, do you have essence of dirty dishwater? There's dish not water? much flavor there. Uh, okay, you want to go again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the little light blue one. Okay, that's the one Colton picked. It is either berry or toothpaste. It's not really not that bad. He got toothpaste and he finished it. Yeah. You got toothpaste? Yeah, I got toothpaste. <laughs> I keep getting duds. I want a good one. Okay. How about I go until I get a good one? Okay, one more time. <laughs> How about I pick it for you? Okay. Woo, refreshing. <clears throat> Okay, um, you have to pick one of the orange ones with red spots. Like one of these? The clearish ones? Um, yes. Wait. There's also like this like more solid looking one. Not that one, the other one. Okay, okay so that is either peach or barf. <laughs> oh god. I've like lost on all, all two. Uh, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, it's still in my mouth. It's not good. No. <laughs> I give up. I'm not gonna do it anymore. <laughs> okay. Send me Ariel. <laughs> Our next victim. Pick a bean. Pick a bean, and I'll tell you the two flavor options that it could be. Okay. Um, hmm. And we have the the trash can here, just in case for you. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna do it too. I'm not just making everyone else do it. Uh, I like the look of this guy. All right. That is either peach or barf. Okay. Cool. Which is the one Ryan just had. They're a little hard. Peach. Yeah, peach. Should I try another one until I get a bad one? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to wash it? The way he said that. I just want to wash it. Okay, what's brown? Brown is either chocolate pudding 
or canned dog food. <laughs> okay. That's Which, not as bad as that. Yeah, I don't think that's that bad. Who got dead fish? I did. <laughs> it sucks. It did suck. Okay. I'm scared. Is it chocolate or is it meaty? <laughs> it's chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate pudding. You just invited me back here to eat jelly beans. Yeah. Okay, um, let's do a different one. There's only one. Pick the these. white one. The white one. Okay. Ryan ate all the bad ones. The blue one is toothpaste or berry, and Colton and Ryan both picked it, and they both got toothpaste. Oh. Okay, the, okay. the white one, this is probably one of the worst. It's either coconut or spoiled milk. <laughs> okay. one like I'm getting an aftertaste of like cheese now. Uh, cottage cheese. Only one of these? What's that one? There's only one of these in the whole bag, so it's either toasted marshmallow. <coughs> Excuse me. Or stink bug. Uh, <clears throat> okay. See, with the first two, I was like, oh god, oh god, oh, this is nice. <laughs> but with the spoiled milk, as soon as I bit into it, it was yeah. like, not this one. This is either juicy pear or booger. <laughs> <laughs> what does a booger taste yeah. like? Have you tasted boogers? What's wrong with you? I am an adult. We're about to find out. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't like all that. That's a marshmallow. <laughs> all kids ate their boogers. You're a liar if you say otherwise. Oh, so, that was so hard. Well? <coughs> 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 that was gross. <laughs> <coughs> 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 he doesn't want to do it anymore. <laughs> How are you feeling? Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> I kind of liked it. <laughs> It was either gonna be juicy pear or booger. Hey, I'm not gonna make everyone else do it and not participate myself. Yeah. Adam. That's, that's just ethics. Adam. Question of the day, guys. I want to know what is one of the worst things you have ever eaten? We had those beans earlier and that was not good, but that's not necessarily like the worst thing. It's kind of gross, but you know, it's just a little, little jelly bean. Um, so there are certain foods out there that uh, different cultures enjoy that other places may not like. Um, like Vegemite is really popular in like Australia and stuff, but no one in the US really likes it. Um, so what's the worst thing you've eaten? And for me, it's really hard to, to know like, you know, the exact thing because obviously I try not to eat disgusting items. But when I was a kid, at my one of my friend's birthday parties this was in like early high school uh we were all spending the night at his house and we took we basically each made a drink just with whatever random things we could find out of the kitchen everything had to be edible of course but it would be like you'd start with milk and then you'd put in like ketchup and a bunch of different spices and like hot sauce and just like mixing all this different stuff maybe some like grape soda or whatever and everyone's drink turned out to be either like a gray color or like a brown color or a pink color for some reason and we each had to take a sip of each one and some of them were absolutely disgusting a couple people vomited it was really really bad um i know that like pepto-bismol was put into one there was like a like a 
spoonful of Crisco in another one. It was really, really bad. So what is the worst thing you have ever eaten? So, the worst thing I've ever eaten, it still haunts me to this day. And that is not an exaggeration. This was an anniversary dinner that I was cooking steak for me and my wife. This is probably like, like second or third anniversary ever. Just went out and decided to buy some steaks. And we never eat steak, first of all, but I knew how to cook it and I cooked it really, really well. Like amazing dinner until I was eating through my steak and I bit down on something and it popped and just liquid just went all through my mouth. And I went and just threw up immediately and it was like a pus nodule inside the steak. And I, I've never eaten a steak since then. It's oh my so God. gross. Like I cannot what? eat a steak because of that. What the heck? Yeah. It was so disgusting and I, I won't touch a steak because of that. That's really sad. <laughs> yeah, it's so gross. Uh. All right, so mine's a little gross. It's not necessarily that it tasted bad, but we made nachos one night. Um, I'm a vegetarian, so we get a lot of like substitutes for meat and stuff. So we had this ground meat uh, that was like soy base or something like that pea protein maybe and so we made nachos and good or whatever and then we like left it out on the pan on top of the stove and uh then i got really hungry about 1 a.m and i started eating it and then i like picked up my fork and there was this huge maggot about that big just like crawling all over it after i had already eaten most of the <laughs> So I went into the bathroom and made myself gag and throw up. How's that? I don't know. I don't know if they were just like, they grew there over a course of a few hours or what, but. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know either. They got there somehow. Uh, but I didn't eat, I haven't eaten nachos since then. That was like a year ago. <laughs> All right. So my food that I don't like is salad. It, I know it's not a bad one. It's, and a lot of people love it, but I had an experience when I was young. Um, my grandpa took us to an all-you-can-eat buffet and he told us we couldn't have any food unless we finish our salad and so I was begrudgingly eating my salad hating every second of it um, and while he was like out getting his plate after his salad uh, the, the family like next to us at the table next to us saw how sad and like miserable I was they felt bad and they're like here here just put your your salad on our plate we'll cover it with a napkin so he doesn't know <laughs> and so I pushed my my, all my, almost all of my salad onto their plate and I left one piece so my grandpa would think I was like actually eating it and when my grandpa got back I like finished the last piece and I was like okay can I get my food and he was like yeah <laughs> but, yeah the nice people saved me from finishing the whole salad it was awesome um so mine is a little bit of a special uh well okay I like to cook am I good at cooking sometimes um but I do experiment a little uh dangerously um, and I like to try new things and so I was doing this crock pot potato soup for a, for a party of people <laughs> and I needed to add sour cream toward the end so and the recipe says like half a cup of sour cream I'm like I like sour cream I'm sure it'll be fine if I put a little bit more put a little a little bit too much and the entire soup tasted just like that spoiled milk jelly bean that I <laughs> Um, it was just just sour cream, sour cream soup. And so I was like, all right, I've got, um, you know, 10 people here all waiting for potato soup and it, it sucks. It sucks so much. <laughs> so we ordered Chinese. Um, I tried to eat it the next day, but because um, I didn't want to waste all that food. It was so much food. Um, and I uh, had to run to the bathroom. It was so terrible. And so now, ever since then, I'll make something and I'll be like, oh, like I burned it a little bit. And then my brother's like, at least it's not sour cream soup. Um, so. Oh well. <laughs> oh, oh, what is this? Yes, but be careful. Thank you.
That's Ryan's husband. Yeah, it's my new husband. I wasn't really cutting it on the line. <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. <laughs> All of the Kyle Ryan shippers are going to be upset their ship is sunk. Oh, yeah. The the Kyan, the Ryle. I like Ryle. What? <laughs> it's a horse. It's a horsey. <laughs> This probably weighs like eight pounds. <laughs> She's screaming to get out. Oh my god, he's had like <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Goes in there. Okay. Oh my God. That horse is, is like kind of intense. Yeah. It's like staring into my soul. <laughs> Horses do that, you know. You know, story time. I had a horse painting um, in my bedroom when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and at night when I'd be going to bed, I would get, I'd be afraid of it. Um, <laughs> like. I like imagined them having like red eyes once and they were like running and just staring at me mm -hmm. with the red eyes. Horses are intense. Yeah, it was, it was scary. But they were very holly jolly looking horses, so I don't know why I was scared when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Kids really do have very vivid imaginations. I like was really young. So. Yeah. My sister uh, I had a Meowth plushie at one point and it was on the floor and she's on the top bunk. She told me she looked down and it was staring into her soul. It's just Meowth. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many pieces. Where's one? I don't want to put it. I can't find one. I'll find that. <laughs> it's a little bag. It's a little shield. Do you have to order it separately? I found the head. Mm. Ryan found the head. Oh, look at him. Give him a little kiss. Oh, you, okay, yeah. No, I won't do it. <laughs> You're being complete without this. Oh, he has tiny little earrings. Look at that. They actually move. Oh, oh my gosh. They're like little tiny bits of wire. I can't get it to move again, but. That's still really cool. Okay. Yeah. You got little tiny earrings. Cool. A symbol. With the head. So we're trying to make room on the bottom here for that giant link on horseback statue and it didn't fit. We had to move that shelf up about an inch and a half. And I did use a tape measure to measure up from the bottom and I kind of eyeballed it. We just put the shelf on. Look at that. Here we go. Could it get any more perfect? <laughs> it's all done. Bam. Barely fit in there, but it looks so cool. And we don't want to ship this, unfortunately, so it's going to be in-store only, and it is not cheap. We got some Pokemon cards. Yes. Look at all of them. We just got restocked. We, we had this couple that comes in, and they like to buy about a box worth of Pokemon cards every time. So we've got a restock nice and quick this time. Yeah. 
All these packs are about five bucks a piece. Bam. Some of the more recent expansions too. We've had most of these in stock before, but there is a new one here on the end. Or should I say, an old one. <sighs> an old Sun and Moon box. And unfortunately that one is gonna be $15 a pack because they're a little bit rare. Um, there's some good cards in there. There is, Kyle and I were looking it up and there, so on TCG player, you can sort to show the most expensive cards. Mm -hmm. And the other pack we have out there, the other older ones, we're selling for $10 a pack. Burning Shadows. Yeah, there was like one page of cards that were worth over like 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. With that one, it was like a page and a half. And a lot of them, like this one doesn't have a Charizard. The Charizard in the other set was like 400 something. The most expensive card in here was like 250, but there was a bunch of cards over $50. With the other set, there was only one card over $40 and it was that Charizard. Everything else was 40 or below. Mm -hmm. So with this one, you have a much better chance of, you know, getting something that's gonna pay for the pack, basically. Oh, I'll be buying them. Not, a, not, not all, but I'll be buying some. I like your Pizza Planet shirt. Yeah, you've mentioned that the last time I wore it. Show me your Valentines. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> you mean this one? Yes. From Derek. Yay. He stopped by earlier and he had stuff for everyone, which is super cool. And he had like four of these or so that he gave to us. Um, these are obviously Nintendo Valentines. It's still brand new, but these are from 2003. Let's see the back. I want to see what's on them. Look how cool. These are GameCube era. So. That's so cool. Yeah, these are just super, super cool. And there's like stickers in there too, it says. Um, so, yeah, he gave these to us, and then he had, like, little cards and stuff for people who didn't get one of these. Um, super, super nice. And what did he give you? So, here's the card. Well, that's the envelope. <laughs> yeah, the envelope. Here is the card of, for the card. And he gave me this. <laughs> Snookums. It's a raccoon with an axe. It is. And Could anything be more Abby? And it says, I'm asking you to be my Valentine. But <laughs> it is so cute. And it looks like on the back there's a few more. So there's there's Pookie, there's Tootsie, and there's Darlene. Well, I'm sorry, but you're my Valentine. <laughs> more trees, got a buttload of manuals. And a lot of these manuals actually have games. Um, you can buy them separately. What, NES games? What, what? This person who traded in the NES games and the manuals, they traded these in because he wants to get the Series X that we have in stock that's coming out on Saturday. He also traded in Skater Die and Bayou Belly. Not Dragon Warrior though. Cartridges. I don't know what these are, but I'm gonna get close so you guys can see what they are. My hands are shaky, sorry. That has to be Dragon Quest. That one. Number Dragon Quest. Okay, N64. Boop, boop, boop. Nice shaped cartridges. We got the Wii. Well, we got GameCube. And then we got the Wii. You can tell a lot of these still need to be cleaned off. They'll go out front and get resurfaced and cleaned. And then more Wii. One more. PS2 game. Link's Awakening, Dreamer Edition. PSP games, there are PAL and there are Japanese games in here. This is traded in from one of our amazing regulars, Sean. Sean is the best. Got PS3. Heavenly Sword is so good, so is Genji. These guys. This guy. And Amiibis. Oh, damn. Sticker ball. And then we got this D and D book, pretty rough, gorgeous, but um, it is from 1980. TSR game, TSR games. Um, despite being really rough, the pages are in really good shape. There's no drawings or writings or anything missing. Got some handheld consoles. We're gonna be reshelling this. It's pretty rough, and some Swatch games. You'll see that the code is unused. This is from another regular of ours. He bought it brand new, never used the code. 
And then we have DS and 3DS games.